I'm Perry, elder statesman of the show, a man fully grown in his 30s. Two weeks. Sitting with a younger 20s man. Man in the prime uh, of his a youth. A boy, really, I should say. A, a boy, child. Practically. Uh, this boy next to me is is the star of You Are Here. Hey, a boy. On Blaze TV with Life Shaver and Sydney Watson, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central, Monday through Friday on Blaze TV, Mr. Brandon Steele. And producer of the new number one most racist podcast in America, and it's not this one, apparently. <laughs> Shockingly, no. <laughs> we somehow dodged that title. I'm, I'm glad we, we don't have that to uh, hang on our mantelpiece. Not uh, yet. All right. Uh, we've got some shit to get to. First, first off, we're digging into old Davey Wilcox uh, tax forms. I talked to some people. And then second, you met fucking Kyle Rittenhouse. So we're going to talk about that and the behind the scenes of that whole Indeed. experience. Um, I did go into some very basic shit with regards to David Wilcock in his 5013 or uh, C3. He was listed in the Small Penis Organization. Which, uh, just is, saying. If you haven't listened before, this is uh, David Wilcock, star of Ancient Aliens and New York Times bestselling author and uh, consummate grift man, in my opinion. He, uh, he has this little, uh, charity i guess you could call it a church and it uh it seems suspicious is the best way i can put it i'm gonna start a new marvel character that's a villain called the grifter yeah uh, i think you can just make him look like david wilcock it'll be largely based on him so uh what i ended up doing is uh because he's the grifter i'm not a guy who understands despite being a jew i don't know about taxes uh, and neither do you. Oh, you don't even have a credit card. With Birch Gold Group, you can find secure and private <laughs> ways to put your money in a tax-safe environment. We better get a fucking quarter of a penny on one of these. I, pl- if you're I plugging love, your other shows, I just love that. I commercial. demand fractions. I love that commercial so much because I'm pretty sure it's tax evasion. I want it to be <laughs> like Bitcoin, where we get like point one six pennies. <laughs> I want, we get I want... one one thousandth of an ounce of gold. So, uh, David did what. All the idiots do, which is they made the classic mistake of, uh, you know, it's funny. People, every time they compare us to someone, they always compare us to the same two individuals, which is... uh, Jesus and Buddha. Yes. Beavis and Butthead. They, Ah. They always break every person who has ever dissed us back has brought out Beavis and Butthead, which, first of all... Wildly successful TV show. Yes, that's exactly my point. Thank you. Thanks. That's precisely cool. the... It's one of the funniest shows of yeah. all time. I'll take it. And I fucking love it. I'll take it. So, I... And it spawned King of the Hill. So, yes, if you'd like to call us, that, it'd be like, hey, well, your band sucks. What are you, the Rolling Stones? <laughs> yeah, you're not thinking of basketball. Who are you, Michael Jordan? Yeah, so uh, thank you for that comparison. But... I You're think, not that good at genocide. What are you, Hillary Clinton? <laughs> no, I think what David Wilcock has done is he has mistaken us constantly appearing inebriated on camera as us being stupid. No, you see, we're good in this state. Yes. That's this what he says, retarded. This is flow state. Yeah. It's uh, what? This How is high? Hendrix playing the guitar. Yeah. All Learn, right. Learn I, study high, get get high grades. Yeah, we I took the SAT and the ACT high. So I uh you know, you don't live the type of life I lived and avoid issues without having friends in good places. So I, I got some friends in the police department, I got some friends who are lawyers and DA's office. I I also have some friends who work for the tax man in pretty tax man. pretty high positions. So I took uh, David's 990 forms that are available publicly. Once again, this is not doxing. These forms are just straight up available if you search the name of his uh, group. I feel like they could have uh, come up with a form. cooler word than doxing. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It doesn't it's sound espionage yeah. enough. Sounds it's, like something you would do to a nerd. I'm going to start calling it like hacking. 
Yeah. I've always wanted to be a cool hacker. It feels guy. more severe than doxing. But sounds like something a boat does. So uh now I sitting by the doxing on the <laughs> bay. I do have to uh bring up this point, of course, is that um you know, the the people I communicated with the they, people you channeled, the entities. You, thank you for coming to this. Congratulate fucking you. Who'd you channel, Bashar? Yes, they they may be IRS agents, but during the course of our conversation, they were not acting in any official capacity. So we're uh, we're gonna give their opinion as soon as I can find it in my fucking text. God damn it! Stall for time. Play music. Hum, hum a tune. Oh shit! That's right. This is our this is our two hundredth episode milestones and what a fitting way to drag it in by me turning 30 and then becoming senile and losing the one thing i wanted to start the show with did he say it's all downhill from here yep life's a good thing we didn't nothing, crawl that high uh, up yeah nothing sucks for nothing's all you it's gonna get better oh you losers you made it to the top of the hill now you gotta fall down can come, we pause come back to the bottom we're we gonna need to pause. I got I gotta find this. I don't know where I went. Just as I said, David, I'm sharp as ever and a dangerous, Sh- a never dangerous been adversary. Yeah, never, never, been, never, never been would I lose the the <laughs> notes I absolutely need to do this part of the show. Never would I put them in the notes section no, of my phone? That would be and stupid. And forget they were there. That only, would be something a dumb dumb would do. Yes, only a dumb high man would yeah, do that. Only Joe Biden would do that. However, I, your adversary, I am the Moriarty to your uh, your Sherlock. I, I hesitate to call you Sherlock Holmes. I, uh, uh, it it's a bit of a. Uh, Sherlock a down, hyperbolic da- down home syndrome. Uh, down. <laughs> David Sherlock. There yeah. you go. All right. So uh, within about five minutes of me Sherlock, sending, there it is. <laughs> with within uh, a few minutes of me sending these uh, 990 forms, I just get a response that says something definitely strange is going on here. That's uh that's not a good sign. If, it's not if the it's best Edward response. Wilcox. And I I do have to explain the people I'm talking to, they have worked specifically on these type of cases for about about 20 years. So they're pretty familiar when uh when shit looks weird. Looks a little fishy. Yeah. Uh so I don't want to spend the entire time going over what they sent me because I, I need to use it for other things. So I pulled uh, I pulled one interesting factoid from each, and I will uh, use that. Um, oh, and the other, when they did finish reviewing it, the email I got just said, nothing too crazy, but from personal experience, I can tell something isn't mathing out here. Mathing out, of course, means the numbers don't look right. That's when you black out on math. Yeah, that's what, that's what Asian kids do all the yeah, time. Like they, yeah, it's big in the Asian community. They, their children keep dying to <laughs> mathing out. So it's, it's a horrible You math out now. We shouldn't make fun of it. Um, so uh, he said, just from personal experience, I could tell something isn't mathing out here. And then... Uh, proceeded to say, the main thing that I'm seeing is that he keeps loaning money to Divine Cosmos LLC, <laughs> which, of course, is David's other company. So David, in 2018, 2020, he's loaning money to Divine Cosmos LLC for the two years you sent over, meaning the documents I sent him, it's over $50,000 and I don't see a reconciliation showing the money being paid back. So it seems like he's using the nonprofit as his piggy bank. Also, I 100% think that he's buying all of his equipment through the nonprofit. 
on one hand, that's kind of cool. Those that's this is uh, the on the, the other hand, like he thought that was like how you laundered money. Don't don't you worry. Don't he, do bad he thing. Had, the dumbest plan I have ever heard, and I will get to it after this. I just wanted to prove I have legitimate people on this. And David, do you think the tax guy's not going to take a look at, at it after I sent them the fucking documents, you dummy? Yeah, people always forget that most crimes just don't get reported. Yeah. Because the second you report them, they're usually pretty easy to figure out. Oh, yes. If if you would like to uh, I report... I couldn't imagine David hiding his tracks very well. If you... Google search the term. Google search this exact term. David Small Penis. <laughs> E-O, Abusive Tax Avoidance Transactions, and then click on the IRS.gov link. You can report David's charity if you believe him to be dodging taxes. Um, okay, the other person, what they had sent me was uh, the 2020 Schedule O, is interesting so far. They're owed 30000 from this other corporation, and their own credit card debt went down by about the same amount. Definitely something strange going on. Nice. So. Nice. David, it, in, uh, it, if we're talking in drug parlance... Now, it, part, if, of me, part of me thinks he's also just, like, so dumb, he could have just genuinely fucked up the forms... Oh, we'll get to no. He had uh, he had a guy in Las Vegas fill out the forms. Oh, Although, thank God! At least he's smart enough to know to not do his own taxes. I did sort this out. Beth is uh, the secretary. David, of course, is the president. Uh-huh. Uh, David lists himself as working ten hours a week on the uh, the nonprofit. Beth works thirty. And guess whose name is on the documents? Beth. She could take you, it from him. You think this uh, might have something to do with the old divorce? Uh, if it gets her out of whatever debt she's been put in by David, yeah. Clock is ticking, my friend. I would say that's probably pretty correct. So, um, where, where was I just at? Uh, oh, right, there, their credit card debt uh, decreasing by roughly the same amount. So, I thought that would be good enough, but no, we, we will dig uh, deeper here. And you know, maybe I, he just he just saw Donald Trump and was so inspired. He's like, I should commit tax fraud. Let me for future. I en- should defraud a charity too. For future enemies of the show, if you ever see me bring out this laptop, yeah, if the IBM it's comes bad out, times. If the IBM is coming out. It's all business, folks. I have two MacBooks I use for this show. If this if this comes out, this is the yeah. research. No one's ever had fun with a ThinkPad. Yes, this is nothing but documents about you. That is for spreadsheets and vengeance. So, and that is it. Let's play a fun game. This is David's 990 form from 2018. And this is the organization's primary exempt purpose. So the reason why they don't have to pay taxes. Yeah, you have a cause. This is what they said in 2018. David's penis is so small, he (laughs) should not have to pay taxes. As recompense for (laughs) for being dealt such a bad hand by the Lord, he he must be forgiven (laughs) $70,000. And 74 cents. It was... To provide a spiritual message that can help uplift, bring peace and hope in the lives of many. I would argue that is the vaguest message possible. If that's it, like, I need this form. I got a charity to start. This is where it gets significantly more fun, because here's what that same part says in the year 2020. Providing a spiritual message that informs and uplifts humanity. So far, so good. About Uh the same. uh Sharing wisdom from spiritual systems. Uh So far, so good. About the same. And supporting care for veterans, animals, women, and the... This dummy wrote the environment. I'm assuming he means (laughs) the environment. But yeah, David, if you, if you got a typo, you should be dismissed like out of hand. David is taken. Don't you worry, folks. David is looking into the environment as we speak. But th- this, once again, it still gets better because now they have to explain 
in Section O what it is that they do to deserve to not have to pay taxes. I talked to the Archangel, Michael. This is what they did. Wilcox Spiritual Healing and Empowerment offered many free services and made some groundbreaking accomplishments, including financing the first stable sloth bridge in Costa Rica. Now, if you were like me uh, several days ago, you may be wondering, why do sloths need a bridge? Or what the fuck is a sloth bridge? I assume it's a bridge for sloths. Yes, and I had no idea what one might look like, so I I, I don't know what a sloth bridge costs. Also sounds like it could on the low be a racial slur. Yeah. Uh, I, like those sloth bridges over there? I started looking it up, and uh, if you, once again, I do not, I'm not here to force anything down to anyone's. I don't want to push people in a certain direction, but if you would like to take your phone or computer and Google the term sloth bridge and then click images, what you will find is that a sloth bridge is a piece of rope. Oh, you, someone's got to pay for and, it. And what you do is you tie one end of the <laughs> rope to one tree, and then you take the other end of the rope and tie it to a tree on the other side of the rope. No wonder it takes them so long to get across. They got a grant for $11,000. I That fucking rules. I did a little more digging, because I was like, well, fuck. Yo, let's start a charity. These people sound like this is a great grift. <laughs> Once again, no wonder people do this as shit. As they said, something sounds fishy. Charity rules, bro. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I found the most expensive rope I could. Gold rope. This is rope that would be used for human beings doing ice climbing or parachutes. Rescue parachutes. You, so, once again, $11,000 uh, is his budget. Right. You can get... 1,000 feet of rope for 200 bucks. Well, think of all... I mean, yeah, that's good business. That, that's some solid overhead. Let's that build. is 3.3 sloth bridges per $200. All right, we're wasting our time here. Let's go build sloth bridges. So if David took... Let's round down to 10 grand. If David took all that money and bought nothing but the finest rope, he is arguing that he built... 16 football fields worth of sloth bridges in Costa Rica. Those sloths will never need another bridge in their life. I don't think Costa Rica is big enough to house 16 football fields of sloth bridges. He actually did one uh, the bridge from one end of the island to the other. It literally could be that long. All right. Anyway, so besides the, the sloth bridge... Which, first of its kind in Costa Rica. That also no one, sounds like a borough in New York. No one ever thought to tie a rope to two trees before, apparently, before David. David was the first. He was the first man to invent tying rope to trees. Well, he managed to do it without the trees feeling pain. If you'll... Re- Everybody else made the trees yes. feel extremely pain, a, a ton of pain. David was very gentle with him. He talked to him about it. He knew you had to pray over the tree. Now, yeah. if you'll remember, I can't remember which book it is, but he does claim to have an IQ over Einstein. I think he has at most of them, I, to be honest with you. I believe you. he puts his IQ approximately at 170 or 180, you know, which look. is... David's just super a, genius. As I say, David's just a super genius. Now, sloth bridges, that's not the only thing they did. So that, you know, that's part of the $11,000 went towards rope, which uh, you know, doesn't he, seem terribly expensive. He was so bad at making the bridges. So the, the other thing they did, they established a 1,000 tree planting nursery also in Costa Rica. Costa Rica is a good tax haven. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny that it's all not here. Yeah. Where you can't really double check the shit. That's a common and one. Apparently once, that in North Dakota. Once again, I was willing to give David the benefit of the doubt because I don't know what the fuck a thousand trees cost. Like what does a thousand seeds of trees cost? A thousand clones would cost you like 10 grand. I've got the answer. 1,000 redwood tree seeds 
twelve dollars and ninety five cents. Yeah, the overhead on charity rules. So, so so far, no wonder Susan G. Komen loved her charity so much. So far, David's got about ten thousand dollars left to explain if I'm being incredibly generous. What percentage of charities and five hundred one c threes do you think, if they actually looked at them, now, would realize they were all just stealing money? Ninety percent. Yeah. Now we go on to uh, this. This is where things get even funnier. They created free promotional videos for select charities that support women's freedom from human trafficking and slavery, <laughs> saving elephants, sloth conservation. Yeah, and then, what is what is their deal with sloths? But then the the thing is in the 2018 form they have already expensed these. Remember last week when I talked about them spending $4,675 on audio video equipment and and how they spent another 2 grand on production equipment? They list themselves as not being paid by this organization. So how how could this number add up to 11,000 when they're not being paid and they're using equipment they already have to film free commercials for sloth conservation? I want to see these commercials. Me too. Cuz I don't think they exist. I don't think they did a fucking thing. It's I entirely think, possible. I think he pulled a Scorch. I think David bought one late night spot on TV and did like a, oh, I'm David Wilcock and I save your sloths. And that was his uh, 501c3 I mean, business he, look, for the he year. either did nothing or he has a very strange obsession with sloths that we need to figure out. All right, let me uh, finish up the, the end of this uh, section. Oh, free marketing and promotion for these charities also supported our housing and education for young women entering life from foster care. That's good. I wish he would list how he went about helping them or how much money he spent. End of life memorial services created a feature length Vietnam memorial film. I don't right. remember that. That sounds cool, though. That happened... This year, or in 2019, I guess, because this this is his 2020. I mean, I guess he could have made it and not released it. And then research and support to clean up the Pacific garbage patch. They also okay. provided free women's spiritual education and ceremonies. Word. So, again, I'm not a tax expert. I asked two tax experts, and they yeah. seem to think this looks weird. Uh, based on what I read, I I think it looks pretty goddamn strange at the least. Looks like you go a few bucks to the old governor. No it, wonder he wanted the fucking government overthrown. He wanted his tax debt relieved. Yeah, no wonder he needed Q so fucking badly. You know, I, I do have a clip of David Wilcock. We are screwed, man. <laughs> yeah, no, David. Uh, Singular, bro, you. You, you are screwed, man, yeah. because the people I reported you to are not going to let this slide. And when your 2019 forms come out, assuming you filed them, you fucking dumb dumb, Michael, they will be getting looked at. The Archangel Michael did tell him that he didn't have to pay taxes anymore. I wouldn't be the surprised. Taxation if he, is a theft. He might be trying to go like the sovereign citizen route. Where, where he's, he's going to end up getting like shot at a grocery yeah, store honestly, just claiming to be a sovereign citizen. He's gone so far that sovereign citizen seems like a proper place for him to end. So that's uh, that was the extra little bit of uh, research that I got into this. And uh, yes, the, the, fact, the fact that David had this whole thing for spiritual empowerment in 2018, skipped a year and came back panicked and decided he needed to build bridges for sloths seems very suspicious to me. Yeah, the sloth thing I have so many questions about. Also, only doing your charity in Costa Rica, I could see if it, if it was after the hurricane and he was doing shit like providing water or food, like, that checks out. Building sloth sanctuaries? Yeah. Not think, fully checking out in my head. Do you think Beth just really liked sloths? 
I, I for her sake, I hope so because because it's so very specific. Like, are sloths even native to Costa Rica? Uh, it, apparently, they need sixteen football fields worth of, of fucking sloth bridges. So I would assume they're they're just everywhere. Like, uh, like just I like I feel like the sloths States. are only in a few places. Yeah, I'm trying. I don't to. think they're common animals trying to find where oh yes there it is maybe david just relates because they have small penises we won't show it on screen but that is indeed her signature above their accountant signature and the same is true of 2020 i don't know if that makes beth fully responsible it's gonna make her financially responsible i'd also like to point out again because it annoys me so much her real name is beth and she Gave herself the nickname Elizabeth. Yeah, she went in reverse. Which she that, went, you don't do. That's not how that works. That's reverse order. That doesn't count. You don't get to. You don't lengthen your name. Yeah, you can go from Elizabeth to Beth, but you can't do it. We don't do this. We don't do this. You know, both ways bullshit. Okay, you fucking man fucks a woman. Even Elizabeth is a Beth. Maybe from Beth, you could even go to, like, Betty or something, but you can't go Elizabeth. Hey, Black Betty. <laughs> and then I love oh, Black that's Betty. who's fucking her now. now <laughs> more that David is... We are screwed, man. Not yeah. anymore, David. No yeah. one's going to screw you again. No. Except you, yourself. You know who's getting her, though. N-word. Yeah. <laughs> just, just a fucking room full. I'd love it if she showed up to divorce court and just, like, Tyrone was there with her. She blocked us on Instagram. <laughs> ah, that's unfortunate. We were I, in her corner. I know. I tried to I tried Who to tag her in the post. Who are bigger advocates than us? I tried to tag her in the post. It wouldn't let me. I was like, you know what? I, no I guess one, we deserve that. No one fought harder for her rights than we did. So that's, uh, once again, if, if we're going by drug parlance, David, if David was a kilogram, that's 36 ounces for all you squares out uh, there. No, wait, that's 32 ounces. Right? I can't it's do not math my anymore. Bit. I don't know. <laughs> God, I fucking sucked today. I didn't come up with this one. Give me a second. I will do the drug math correctly. I need the Jeopardy music to be able to do this properly. I mean, that song's yeah, no, pretty it, much okay. Mexican Jeopardy. It is 36 ounces. So okay. we, we have sold 34 ounces of janky ass David. And we have two ounces left to get rid of. We have his stupid fucking charity. And I haven't even looked at his goddamn airplane uh, Leroy Jetson company. I wonder if he's already worked on, like, closing it. I, I mean, I don't think he's in a good enough mental state to realize he needs to cover his tracks. No, they're trying to, like, raise more money. Oh, I thought that was through the company, though. We are screwed, man. That's what he... Oh, he shit. He has apparently invested millions of dollars into this company. Oh, the company? No, I know. Yeah. I thought I thought she meant more through the... I meant through the uh, the 501c3 oh, shit. Oh, that... Because that, a know. smart man would just close it and be like, hope they don't talk to me because it's closed. I am... He's not a smart man, so I doubt it. That's why I want to see these 2019 filings so bad, because I want to see... If he can fucking explain, it was funny you mentioned the, the flying uh, cars issue. though, because I just real quick I saw this article. Go for it. I, I'm done. I'm done with uh, that's enough Wilcock uh, tax information for the day. It was just the like they made a personal flying like that. Almost looks like flying saucer, pretty much. That looks like the the death machines they're rolling out in Switzerland. Almost they call or, it like the Jetson or something. It does so. Someone beat David to his own fucking craft. Wow. It's not even, anti-gravity, but... David even failed at that. Yeah. The father of anti-gravity is not going to be first. He's not the father. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking... He had to go on... He's going to yeah. go on more. Yes. David, you are not the father <laughs> of anti-gravity. Wait, 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 that's pretty funny. You know, write that bit down. <laughs> Dave, yeah. David learning he's not the father of anti-gravity on Mari is a good bit. That's pretty solid. Someone, I don't know who we get to play Maury. We'll find one of our neighbors. We'll but, do uh, Blackfoot. Let's get to do Gambles. Oh, fuck. That dude cracks yeah, me yeah, up. Yeah, that guy, oh, we'll, we'll pay him 20 bucks or something, so I maybe hope he, he can win. I <laughs> hope he paid his, his fucking boogie. I was about to say, I hope he's able to pay his debt off because it didn't sound like a great week last week. All right, so that's, uh, that's David and 
we will continue to cover the case as it develops. David, you are not getting off free. This is surgical winter. Well, David doesn't get off at all. We will be continuously following this. And, oh, my God, I cannot wait for the divorce proceedings. Oh. Ooh, fantastic, yes. Beth felt the need to put out a much lengthier note than the initial note, where she seemed to tap dance around mentioning a couple of individuals. A certain duo. Why won't people mention us? Because they're terrified. Is... I I honestly don't we're get it. We're villains. But 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 we're nice. We're nice guys. We're I'm a I'm, I'm a, a good gentleman. Person. We are we're uh I'm I'm a uh, a supreme yeah, gentleman. We're supreme <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> who, who who talks about his wife getting a train ran on her by fucking <laughs> N word N word. <laughs> Well, Supreme that's, gentlemen. That's just funny, yes, okay? That's just that's what we call satire in if the If it's funny, it doesn't count as I hate. can't help it. Yes, okay. I did explain to Sydney the origins of the term wetback last night. Yes, you it's did. Fine. You and it was on the show. I, I heard yeah, that, it that and one, I had to do a double take. That one will test some limits. Yes, yes, it will. Uh, yeah, we, we will find out what <laughs> just how far we can push it. All right. Which speak- is good because we got Anthony Cumia in studio. This That's week. gonna be so fucking yeah, rad. We're gonna fucking go meet Anthony Cumia. All right. Speaking of your uh, your other show, you are here, of course. You had yes. Kyle Rittenhouse on yeah. last Monday. Second only Tucker. So, uh, what's what's the scoop here? How's what's I mean, the kid Kyle, like? What's Kyle what's going pretty, on? Kyle was pretty cool, actually. Because I came into it like, all right, I'll, I'll pocket some of my jokes. Like, how it's probably gonna be, you know. A little control, a little serious. Yeah, I know. This is a little serious, but like, it's not gonna get too rowdy. And then, uh, oh, I got rowdy very quickly. And he's the one who did it, which is what made it fun. You can hear me cackle in the back because I thought this kid was gonna be serious, and he was out here calling Elijah fat and shit. Yeah, I I saw Elijah break out the shooting memes. I was yeah. like, okay, I guess I guess this oh, is that on. literally that because we talking before the show. It's just like I don't. We were all just like, I don't want to do an interview. Like, can we just fuck around with him? They're like. Yeah, here's memes. Just put these in the fucking graphics list. And I was like, all right, cool. There you go. And then, uh, yeah, we wild out. He made an OJ if the glove don't fit joke. Somehow no, none of the people who've talked about it have picked that up because that is by far the funniest part of that in, that uh, episode is him making an OJ joke. That is pretty good. That's a wild boy. My favorite part of the whole thing is you being on the front page of TMZ Sports. Yeah. Because yeah. you were the one who got him to say, fuck LeBron James. Yeah, I egged him on a bit. I was... Fuck you, LeBron. I was uh, yeah. surprised, to say the least, when I saw that on my TV screen. I was a bit, I bit was, surprised, too. I there. was not expecting that. There were a lot of clips I thought were going to get picked up from that episode. I did not expect that to be the one that hit home. Last week was a weird fucking week for us. Yeah. Yeah, so we were on, let's see. We just the hit sun. home run after home. We had Davey Boy's divorce, yeah. his fucked up taxes. You get Kyle Rittenhouse on the show. Yeah, that episode blew up. The boys are back in town. Yeah, but yeah, I was on... Grooving again. I'm on pretty much... We're, we're in pretty much every major publication, primarily for the LeBron joke. And then the best part is, and now we've gotten in a bit of war with... Uh, KFC from Barstool Sports, Kevin Clancy, because he oh, took I a... Oh, I thought, damn, I was, I, thank God, I thought you meant the actual chicken restaurant. I was no, like, no, not no, the colonel. No, but, but, but he we'd, looks like the colonel. We'd you never can't... go to war with the colonel. Yeah, he, no, he won a civil war. Yes, he also has the uh, the, the shirt where, where Glenn Beck yeah. looks like the colonel. Yeah, no, this is uh, one of the dudes in Barstool. No, not all of Barstool. We like Barstool, Barstool rules. But this dude decided to take a, a clip where Kyle talks about... I made a joke about him not shooting blanks uh, and fucking chicks. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then, which, and then to this kid's credit, like, he legitimately was kind of funny. Just rolled straight with it and was like, yeah, all these patriotic moms want to take my virginity. And I'm like, too late. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit, this motherfucker's not playing today. So and then I was like, all right, this is going to be I was like, this is going to be a good ass episode. So, yeah, this is my, he pulled a clip where, uh, Elijah asked him, like, so what kind of girls are you into? And he was like, I like them thick. Yeah, thick. Thick, thick Latina women, thick right? Thick Latina women, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, Kyle. So that dude took it that and he posted that clip. He's like, look at these weirdos talking to 
Kyle Rittenhouse about what kind of chicks he's into, and it's like, dude, that's your whole fucking brand. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, wait, about? what's this faggot's name? Kevin Clancy. You want to bring it? Bring him up on your phone on Twitter. Kevin Clancy can suck our fucking cocks. Yeah, I, I, I invited you. him onto this show. I was like, you want to come on? But yeah, and then like he was getting roasted in his own fucking post. As he should. Fuck yeah. him. And then someone we we brought up on the show the other day because that day they'd had one of their rough and rowdies. Ouch. And they did a tweet and it was just like Jeez. chicks in bikinis. And it's like, yeah, us talking to Kyle Rittenhouse, an 18-year-old dude, about what he, what kind of chicks he's into is so weird, right? He's listed his number one job, blogger. Yeah, he's That's a got blogger. Hurt a little. He's a blogger. He also looks like a homosexual. <laughs> well, so what was also funny is he put, he said like, Something about him being Kyle being a loser, or whatever, uh, or, and like find a bigger loser than this. And they immediately pulled up a Daily Mail article about picture of him him admitting to cheating in on his wife and ruining his marriage. And they're like, "I think you, yeah, yeah, yeah." So I I made it's funny how the biggest pieces of shit are the quickest to try and uh, so he talk was, shit on others. Well, he's the only one at Barstool did this. He's getting roasted. None of the other people yeah, that support him. That's not on brand it's, for Barstool. That's what I mean. That's it's what very I was like. Off brand you could have taken any. You want to take the fuck you, LeBron part? Like, okay, that might make sense. Yeah, that makes sense for a but sports to be like show. You, you know, an eighteen year old kid talking about titties and ass is like too far. Like, what the fuck you? And then he was like, would you have OJ on? I was like, I will have OJ on yes. tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Of I, course. It would be entertaining. I'll bring Kyle back, too. We can have Kyle and OJ on at the same time. I told Kyle that. <laughs> that I said he should start a podcast awesome. with OJ. Yeah. Getting away with it. The, the juice and, and the, OJ. The juice and the kid from Kenosha. Yeah. Kenosha uh, and the juice. But, yeah, so the, that, that dude popped off. I'm pretty sure last night. I said as Donald Trump that he was trans because I saw his cervix because I fucked him in the bathroom. Oh, is that why you were getting death threats on Instagram? No, those were from LeBron. Oh, okay. Yeah. You were you were getting a fair amount of death threats on Instagram, which were... Awesome. F- should I read some? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, all right. Fuck yeah, that's okay. the whole point. I, I couldn't wait. Elijah and Sydney were like, oh, that's too bad. I was like, no, this is great. No, this is the greatest thing. Yeah, fit. this is uh, fantastic. I was like, genuinely, I, I, I find them funny. I was like, we're going to make this a bit. And for those of you wondering, that's how much Brandon trusts me. He, I have access to yeah, his Instagram. I don't even run the account. Yeah. Well, for the most part, you're you're uh, you're looking at my, uh, my pictures. But, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much him. So, uh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Did, they, did this pussy delete their account? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, you fucking what cowardly a bitch. bitch. What a bitch. What a cow. Come on. See, yeah. this is what's wrong with the youth in our country these days. If you're going to send a death threat, fucking stand behind it. Okay. I got three, though. Be a goddamn man. Here's, here's three we got. All right. All from deleted accounts. They are now just listed as <laughs> Instagram user. Fucking pussies. Well, I answered all of them. I said, I, I told you, I killed them with kindness. No one I, ever expects the kindness killer. Well, I just said I hope I'm. I hope you're doing okay. It seems like you're upset. Have a nice day. <laughs> uh, so we got jump off a building, <laughs> which not very creative. It, no, it's not really insulting either. Now this one I always find weird. I bet you're trans. That's kind of funny, I guess. It doesn't make a ton of sense, but right? Okay. But, but then it implies being trans is bad. Which is what they're trying to say you're saying. But then they're saying it in their insult to No, I think you. they were calling me trans to be insulting. Now, this one was creative. I hope a pit bull attacks you and rips your mouth. Well, that is specific. <laughs> Very specific. It's wildly specific that the pit bull would go straight for my mouth. Oh, man, I can't believe the other person deleted the account. That's very disappointing. What a puss. Hey, if you guys are going to send, uh, send death threats, at least stand behind them. Yeah, be a man, all right? Or, or a woman. Women or, can send yes. death threats. This is 2021. Yeah, we're, we're equal opportunity. Yeah, y'all hoes got rights. Send yeah. some death threats. Where are, you, what's, where are you at, white women? Yeah. Where are the white women at? <laughs> yeah, the Ste- ones Sydney gets quite, aren't quite as... It's funny because it's just people wanting to murder her. And, or rape her, I would assume. Yeah, a little yeah. variation of the two, usually yeah. sometimes both. Yeah, women have it a bit rougher when it comes to... The old death threats Death threats have never bothered me. Or, or No, they're very it. funny. Yes, it's funny. It's, it's funny. It's funny to wake up. Because they're dorks. 
And also, I've been getting them for years. I I have never had a scratch. Yeah. I've I've never even had a minor inconvenience. Yeah, no one puts the threat in a DM and then is like, you know what, I'm going to actually do it. Yeah, it's it's just pointless. Those, yeah, those type of people only will send it through a DM. Yeah, so you, you're not going to do anything, so yes. I'm not going to live in fear like David. Especially once who, we get our guns. I got to get... Uh, when, uh, when I set up David Wilbot 2.0, which, thinking ahead, I should have done for episode 200... Do we have, like, something I can fucking press to celebrate? Well, I feel like we fucked up by not making a bigger deal. Out this of the is fact the 200th episode? That we've done two, uh, I'm going to be completely honest. I didn't think it was a milestone or remember it was until about 10 minutes in. You know what the problem when is? When we had your break, and then I was like, oh, wait a second. Well, it's because it, uh, it's the, not technically the 200th episode. Yeah, because yeah. the other Patreon episodes we do, it's it's, it's like, like 250. Yeah, we're we're kind of deeper in. Plus, other episodes have been recorded, not released. So but it's 200, like, 200 so, normals. Anyways, uh, well, where where should we wrap? So yeah, the up? The, 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 the 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 Kenosha shit blew up. That was yes, that was yes. weird. That was a wild week. We are in every major All publication. All because of. Accurate three shots. Yep. No, um, never forget, you have the right to shoot people in this country. Amen, brother. And that's all that matters. The Lord and, shall provide. Well, it, it comes full circle because here's part of the real reason is because when I started following Elijah, it was the rise in the Kenosha shit. Right. And that was where I found the job listing. So ah. Kyle Rittenhouse got us here. This is how we can do this. Let me let me. This be, is how we, we do, do this. Do I love that guy, but but his music video is so uh, he's too tall. Brad Jordan, yeah, he, he was he's like six ten or something. Yeah. So it's just this fucking giant Frankenstein monster of a man dancing. He could dance for his size. Well, yeah. But it looks terrifying next to because most dancers are five foot four. Yeah, they're little. They're not usually six, but seven. But to tie this all together, I see... Like the rope that David used for those sloth bridges. For only $200. Yeah. I see what happened in the last week is the official end of season one of our lives. Yeah, we survived our, what was it, 50, 77 days without furniture? Yeah, uh, 70, no, yes, yeah, 75, 77, something yeah, like that. We survived our final our final passage through, like Dante, we survived our final passage through hell. Well, I, And are now being rewarded thusly, which only means terrible things are looming. I'm just thinking, we, we moved states, we, uh, we, we finally got our shit here, which yeah. has been fucking awesome. Rad. Uh, you, your, your show's popping. Things yeah. are going well. We got national. Uh, both our episodes from last week are over a thousand views, which yeah. has never happened before. We're so picking up followers. That's we, fucking cool as shit. We, we, we hit our goal. Our goal at the beginning yep. of this year was to hit 500 followers. Weeks to spare. We have done it with plenty of time to spare. Weeks to spare. Thank, to, uh, thank you to, uh, all of you who followed us. Um, so I see this as the end of season one. You will be 30 in a short 16 days. Yes. And then you'll have the wisdom of a man and like we'll, me. We'll both be washed. Yes. <laughs> we'll both be losers. We're officially fucking losers. Losers with a washer and dryer in their Fuck apartment yeah. now. A brand new goddamn washer and dryer. But no, uh, yeah, I, I think we, we've had from, from when we started moving... To this week, we we have not had a better week, yeah, than this week. Yeah, and it's this has not been a even good one. Remotely close. It's been a wild one. I had a video get like I think that Rittenhouse video is a fucking like seven hundred thousand views. It was at three hundred thousand within like twelve hours. Yeah, overnight. Yeah, uh, I was watching it because I was going to release the clip as I usually do, but it just literally every time I refresh the page, it was up like another five thousand views, and I was like, it just. Just won't stop going up. I didn't. I literally had to ask. I was like, "What do I do?" I've never had a video go viral. See, and as as I it's told like, you, the fuck happened. How do I, you do this? I think that's the official marking of uh, you are here being taken to the next level. Oh, definitely. We were used by every major publication and a few. You think Young Turks used us for all sorts what of shit? We are here to do is yes. ride the coattails. Shh. <laughs> 
we will hang on to the coattails of that success all yes. the way to the it's just next it, to the top. You know, wherever the coattails lay amongst the top. The Conor McGregor thing, you know, yeah. the rising tide raises all ships. Exactly. We're just catching the tide. We're just gonna be we are here. Yes. You you are there, we are here. Yeah, we are here. This yeah. is the spin off show. Yeah, this is the after show where yeah. we talk that uh, actually that's kind of funny. I might start doing that like that's once not, a week. That's not bad. Where I just do a ten minute version of your own show. We are here, you just the opening bits. <laughs> just cut it down. Oh, uh, fuck. All right. Well, uh, guys, thank you. So, like a sincere thank you for, for fucking watching and getting us uh, to uh, the numbers we want and everything. It's been it's been cool. Go. Uh, I did promise Cody Nichols. Speaking of getting to uh, numbers we want to hit, Cody had said about he wanted to hit uh, 300 followers by the end of the year. And he is very close. He is like five away or something. He is eight away. Please go follow Cody Civilians on Instagram. Cody Civilians on Instagram. He just needs eight followers and he will hit his number. So go uh, go paid, to our friend a uh, solid. He paid $3,000 for that plug. <laughs> yes, I, I charged him for that. We got 520 followers now. The check has got to be big. Hey. No, we got 540 followers. Going to be super big. We're, we're going to be charging major prices. Yeah, so you better get on that Patreon before we raise them motherfucking prices because inflation <laughs> is coming. How great would that be if the first tier is just now 3333 hey. We're going the David Wilcock route. The first tier it's, is now $333. It's inflation, folks. Blame blame the economy. Uh, you know what? I'm going to save that because it's about the aerospace company and I want to have all my ducks in a row before I talk about David's fake Jetson car company. And again, 34 ounces gone. We got two shitty ounces of David left to sell. Two and stepped then on ounces. We will be forever done with this fucking loser whose wife left him when he lost his money because awakening in the dream did not sell well because he devoted his life to something he saw on 4chan. I, I think he'll find a way to come back. He's failed so many times before <laughs> and managed to come back. I think he's At got... At least a, over the last five years, though, he had he's got a knack by for his it. side. Well, yeah, but there was also a time when he had He's nothing. riding solo and talking about how yo play is murder. Well, I mean, he'll definitely hit bottom. I just... I have faith he'll manage to find his way back. He's, his only talent is not going away. Well, all right. I'll quickly bring up what I was going to bring up. His secret insider, he, in a video I saw of him, he used the secret insider's real first name. Whoops. Guess who has the exact credentials and first name of that insider? Someone who works at Stavati Aerospace. <laughs> A Mr. Chris Beskar, you fucking idiot. <laughs> your secret insider has a bio on your website. But, again, surgical, surgical winter, David. That was just part two. We will, I will continue to dig deeper and deeper. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take me a few, it could take me months to untangle this goddamn uh, Stravati Aerospace because it is a thick web that has been uh, wove, and it goes back to like 93. Oh, the webs we weave when it's, we steal from thieves. It's a company that's existed since 93 and has never put out a product, and I want to learn two things. What the fuck, and how do I start a company where I don't have to do anything, but I still get money? You become because, a CEO. Because that's the greatest that's the greatest possible company of all time. He has a company where he makes money and he's never sold something. He just yeah. he just he gets money from other people. Capitalism rules. Damn, damn Bernie Sanders trying to take yeah. away our Stop ability taking to form away. private aerospace companies. Yeah, our American God-given rights to rip off investors. All right. Well, happy uh, 200th episode everyone. Uh I don't know what Space Weirdo Friday is going to be this week. I'm going to have to look. 
Maybe a brother Bobby to celebrate and finish off his lecture. That might be appropriate. We could finish that lecture. I do love me a brother Bobby. We're certainly not going back to Randy Kramer for Get a minute. Get Tangerood and watch the brother Bobby, the the man who turns the mundane to the monumental. Brother Bobby, I love him so much. You know, it really is my favorite prophet. I talk to him all the that time. Is... He says, he says, Mr. President, I can't believe how much you know about black people. I, th- I think at this point, Brother Bobby says more like, uh, Yeah, uh, I don't know if Brother Bobby can speak any longer. I think, uh, yes, I think I, he taps. I think he's uh, much like Grandma Chandra now. Yes, unfortunately. Or, or the guy from uh, Breaking Bad who just rings the bell. <laughs> all right, hootie hoo. Mom bow.